<laughs> so, hey, uh, I've got Blackstone Cherry What's in up, the vehicle bro? here. What's up, yeah. now? Do you guys have kids? I do. I, I have a little boy. And how old is your little boy? He is five. Five. Oh, so you're not even close to teaching him how to drive. No, he's like five going on 25, though, man. Like, he's, like, he was premature, so he's, like, he's small for his age. But God, what he lacks in, like, physical size, he makes it for in personality. Oh, that's cool, man. You want he's him to be a, a little musician, maybe? Man, you know, dude, if he's into it, that's his thing. If not, I just want him to be happy is the main thing. You know, man, dude, like, I never went to college. My wife did. I didn't. So we're both like, you know, we're going to leave that up to him when he gets older. You know, either he can go to college or learn a trade or be like his dad and get kicked out of high school and play music like for his a dad. living. Be like his dad and male stripper. Isn't that what right, you do yeah. too for well, a while? Well, dude, I, I was a Chippendales dancer in the plus size section for a while. Um, <laughs> it, it got awkward, though. It got awkward. But I heard about, well, aren't you in the cover of Glam? No, yeah, I, was, I was not literally on the cover of Glam. No, I mean, yeah, you were. Your bandmates told me you were on the cover of Glam, yeah. dude. I don't even know those guys. No, Ben was actually <laughs> on album covers in the in the 1980s. There's a, okay, um, there is a, you know Leif Garrett? Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know him personally, okay, but right. I know his, well, Not modern day Leif. We're, we're talking like Leif 19, in the teens yeah. years. I, when I used to have long hair and no goatee, I had a striking resemblance to Leif Garrett. Oh my God! And somebody, kinda... somebody brought up an album cover, and it was like him on the front in like these little, this little spandex uniform, and he's like smiling at the, you know, on his album cover. It's so old school, and people were like asking me to sign it. They thought, you know, being funny. You know, people want to complain about something, and and I get it. There are some injustices in the world today, and it's a very unfortunate thing. But with us, we we are all about peace, love, positivity, and good vibes, yes, man. Sir. And you know what, dude? The more often than not, you know, it's the way the manner you represent yourself and you present yourself to others completely affects how they react to you. Yes, exactly. I know. Also, a lot of times people just have really shitty days and they take aggression out on other people. Yep. That has to stop. But I think it's it's a balance between the two, man. Like we're but we're big supporters of of the armed forces and the first responders and everybody cool. that that does their part to protect this country. And most of those dudes and chicks are fans of rock music, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's, that's what they listen to, man. Yeah. Like, dudes, like, we've met lots of people, especially in the military, that, you know, like, dude, when I was up in my, you know, jet, my fighter, you know, whatever they were doing, they're like, you know, we was listening to y'all's music, you know, to get, that we have to get our adrenaline going. You man, know what I mean? When, when you hear amazing. people, when you hear people say, yeah, we were, man, we were getting ready to go out on this mission, uh, an actual combat mission, and we were listening to your all's records, to, to get us in the right mind, you know, and th- I mean, th- you really can't say anything back to that because that's something I will never understand. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I understand how music affects me, but that's the beauty of music, man, is it's like the only universal language on the planet. I mean, you guys have been all over the world touring with all sorts of awesome bands, yeah, peers. Man. Foo yes, Fighters we've never played with, that'd be cool, man. Yeah. Um, We've had several different chances to meet Steven Tyler and Joe Perry, but and we're I, always I've chickened out, man. I'm a huge Aerosmith fan. What do you Smith mean you chickened out? How are you chickened out from I that? Did. With Steven Tyler, man. I, what do you I, I how do you chicken out from because him? You did you run understand. away or something? Here's what happened. Ben did took you? a picture beside him and didn't say hello. In the urinal, oh, yes, in a, in a restroom. And I just could not say anything. I yeah. actually met Steven Tyler in a restroom, too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> he hangs out in restrooms, I guess. What? Uh, yeah, we did. I'm a huge Aerosmith fan, have been. I mean, for years so you know it was a big deal and then I was that close to him and I was like I, I couldn't do it I couldn't what am I supposed to say I'm your biggest fan just in my heart I am but how he, many times has he heard that but it doesn't but, but that's what that's what they well, I, that, there's no way these, for me to these legends are that I mean I think you just come swinging honest and from your heart and you never lose I true know. story you want to hear a good one Go so we're playing Wembley Arena with Def Leppard and White Snake. Back in you 2000, sold out. haven't you sold out some? Play- we, 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 we have played yeah. it uh, twice now, and it's been wall to wall every time. Awesome, man. it's amazing. But we were the, we were there with Def Leppard, White Snake, first time we ever played Wembley Arena, and like we're playing, and I look over and I'm like, holy shit, it's Jimmy Page, and like I, I kind of froze because we were playing and he was watching us, like leaning on the stage, just enjoying it like anybody would, you know what I mean? And we were like, oh my god, this is amazing. Well, the next thing I know, I'm telling the guys, they're like, no, nah, dude, you're crazy. You're just thinking that because it's, you know, London and because David Coverdale's here. And I'm like, no, dude, I'm telling you. And finally, they talked me out of my own 
belief yeah. that I saw him, right? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, you guys are probably right. Then our, our guitar tech at the time, who's a who's actually a police officer uh, back home now, he, uh, he he left the road to go home and do that, and we're super proud of him. Um, but his name's David. He was with us, and he goes, he comes to the dressing room, he goes, y'all are never going to believe this, but Jimmy Page and Richie Sambora just watched your all's entire show. Wow. And I'm like, I told you! <laughs> okay, so I'm this. walking down the hallway, and I see Jimmy Page and a photographer named Ross Halpins with him. I'm like, yes, I know Ross. I'm like, oh, my God. That's Jimmy Page. That's Jimmy Page. That's Jimmy Page. Chris, that's Jimmy Page. And I finally walk up to him and I go, he's talking. It's him and Richie and Ross, and they're all talking. And I walk up, completely ignore Richie Sambora, <laughs> and I go, sir, I know you're busy, but you are Jimmy <laughs> Page, and I have to say hello to yeah. you. Yes. And that's exactly how the conversation started, and he stood there and talked to us for 20 minutes. Wow. He was awesome, he, he was, he and was this is after coolest. he saw you guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And he, he literally proceeds to tell us how much he loves how we're doing our own unique spin on the Southern Rock thing. It was awesome. And I'm man. like, if Jimmy Page says that, then it's all fun. It's You're all blessed. good You're games. blessed. Yeah. It's like we were knighted. Yes. You know what I mean? You were. That's and a big it was, deal. It was, cool, it was amazing. It was, it's weird. He was wearing his backstage laminate like around his neck. I'm yeah, like, dude, dude. I'm pretty sure anywhere, in, you know, especially in London, you ain't got to, you know, your face is your laminate, buddy. <laughs> so what's up with the, what's up with Blackstone Cherry, man? You know, you guys released an album on 420. Yeah, yeah dude. Family Tree. We, uh, we was, got the new record, man, and it's... Dude, you know it, it's a it's a it's a new step for us, man. Going in a in a new direction, but it's in, it's a, funny. in a more what, what what's the new direction? In a more southern direction? Yeah, it's just yeah. more organic and southern, yeah. man. And it's funny because it's that's what you guys are. It's man. really right. back to what we always were. But dude, you know this business, and you know how you have to accommodate certain people in this business a lot of times, um, and and try to appease a certain you know market. And we did that for so long, man, and, and it just never really played out in the fullest for us. So we just said to hell with it, man. We're going to make the music that we really want to make, and and either people will like it or they won't. And luckily, man, all the reviews have been amazing. Good, this yeah. yeah, we just, uh, you guys just performed acoustic for our Zippo session. Yeah, it was man. cool to hear these songs and you guys I love how you guys all sing yeah, you guys yeah. all have voices that makes a big difference well, man. You know, that kind of stops people from like oh hey I think yeah. they don't expect that you know maybe I don't know man, it's sad maybe it's a thing with I guess it's a lost art singing harmonies together you know? I love it that's man. the way we grew up was with acoustic guitars and we would learn like the Beatles songs because obviously they, they all sang that's how we learned to sing together it's like man you know we gotta, we gotta showcase that because you know like you said people go I don't know they can do that I appreciate yeah, it, man. Dude. Blackstone Cherry. Brother, man. Always yeah, a pleasure. Man. Always a man. pleasure. Hey, let's take a selfie, too, man. You're a good, good man. Dude. Thank you, guys, man. I've always been a fan of you dudes for a long time now. Shit, man, we appreciate the support through the years, man. All right, cool. We'll do this one right here.